Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. The gravitational force of attraction between a uniform sphere of mass capital M and a uniform rod of length small l and mass small m oriented as shown is here we have given four options a capital G capital M small m upon small r into r plus l option b capital G capital M upon r square option c capital M small m into bracket r square plus l and option d in bracket r square plus l into bracket close and small m into capital M. Now what is the question here we have given a sphere which having the mass is m and rod which having the length is l and mass is small m and we have to find out the force of attraction oriented that means this dm is oriented means it is will be changed. So therefore, we are not using uh, by the method of center of mass. Okay. So therefore, we have using by the length element and mass element. Let us consider dm. How we can get the dm? In our previous chapter, we have already we are practicing to find out how to can get the dm. Okay. Mass per unit length that is m by l. And let us consider this width is dx. So multiply by dx. Okay. So here we get the dm. Is it okay? Now apply the force df because it is variable when this dm can be considered what it is passing to one end to another end. So therefore capital G mass of the square m and that is dm and variable distance that is x square. Okay. So here we have using g m dm on x square. And now integrate both the side. And put the limit. What is the limit? Here we have given the distance from the center in one end that is r and another end that is r plus n. So df become f and now substitute the value of dm. What is the value of dm? That is a small m by l and dx upon x square and put the limit r and r plus l. Okay. Now f equal to g capital m small m and l all these things are constant so therefore taken away from the integration and now here r r plus l dx upon x square this remaining portion we have to put to the integration here f equal to g capital m small m upon l now it is a lower limit is r upper limit is r plus l x raised to power minus 2 dx then f equal to g capital m small m l then here x raised to power minus 2 plus 1 minus 2 plus 1 upper limit r plus l and lower limit is r okay so now here f equal to g capital m small m on here l that is a uh, minus 2 plus 1 that is minus x raised to power minus 1 r plus l lower limit is r then f equal to capital G capital M small m upon l then it is minus 1 by x r plus l upon uh, sorry lower limit is r then f equal to capital G capital M small m upon l now substitute the value of minus r plus l minus minus plus 1 by r now rearranging with negative sign then it can be written as g m small m upon l 1 by r minus 1 by r plus l okay so f equal to we are taking the lcm r r plus l r plus l and minus r here minus r and plus r cancel out g capital m small m upon l it is l and r into bracket r plus l 
here LL cancel out. Now let's see which options is matching here. Okay, now see here is the options. So here first option A G M small m R R plus L is correct answer. Okay, I hope so. You understood this question. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely, when you will become success, full contribution goes to your hard work. But if my videos, my lectures, my questions will help in your success, I will consider myself lucky. Please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye.